Hey everybody, this is Jimmy Humphrey with jimmystable.com. I want to talk to you about the coronavirus. So CDC officials are saying, if you want to prevent the coronavirus, it's just very, very simple. Just wash your hands and don't touch your face. Easier said than done because apparently, whether you like it or not, it's pretty much impossible to stop touching your face. We do it dozens of times an hour, just subconsciously. We're just constantly going, like, well, uh, well maybe, I, I don't pick my nose, well, maybe I do in my car. No, no, you pick your nose in your car. So we, we all do these subconscious things where we are constantly touching our face. And, and I can't help but think, man, if the primary method of controlling the spread of the coronavirus is gonna come down to whether or not we touch our face, we're all gonna die. It's just, it's just that simple. We're all going to die because, well, we, we, we can't help ourselves. We, the only way we could probably help ourselves is if we put a, a cone of shame on our necks like we do with dogs uh, when we want dogs to not scratch their face when they've had like some sort of surgery or something wrong with them. So if that's what it's gonna come down to, well, I just, I just, I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't think I can do it. Maybe instead the CDC, instead of telling us not to touch our face, which is impossible to do, maybe they could have just made at least two helpful suggestions. And I believe those two suggestions would be, one, I believe that we should not pick our nose. You know, you know, I see, I see who you are when you're driving. You, you've probably seen me when I'm driving. Picking your nose, mining for gold, digging, you know, just passing the time, and you're just... I think maybe we can work on controlling that, I, right? We, we can all, we can all practice. We can all practice not picking our nose, I hope, right? I, I know you tell your kids not to do it, but, you know, so many of you do. I, I probably occasionally do. Maybe. <laughs> so, don't pick your nose. If you don't want to die of coronavirus, you may not be able to avoid touching your mouth or, you know, touching your eyes or something. Be master of your domain. Be master of your domain when it comes to picking your nose. So try not to do that. If you can do that, there's probably a 70% chance uh, you won't die from coronavirus. Point number two. Well, you know, I'm recording this video on my cell phone. And I have to sit here and think, I don't know about you, but I take my cell phone to the bathroom. And occasionally when I'm in the bathroom, oh, maybe more than occasionally, I sit there and check on Facebook and, and do all my important social media stuff for the day when I'm at work. <laughs> so maybe the CDC could recommend that one, we not pick our nose, and two, maybe we shouldn't touch our phones. Maybe the CDC should just encourage us all to throw away our cell phones and only use landlines. Because frankly, these little things that we are carrying around with in our pocket and holding up to our face and playing with our hands all day, they're disgusting. We, we know that. So I know that would probably crater Apple stock overnight, probably would kill Samsung. And a lot of bad things would happen as a result of us throwing away our cell phones. But maybe, maybe just maybe, we might live. Hello everybody, this has been Jimmy Humphrey, jimmystable.com, with my two practical suggestions. If you really have a coronavirus fear of how to handle it, stop picking your nose and do something with those cell phones. Maybe don't touch them so much, or maybe just throw it away altogether if, if you're really a, a worried, you know, like Jesus said. If your right hand offends you, cut it off. <laughs> Uh, anyway, everybody, take care. Oh, yeah, check out the podcast I've linked to uh, where I talk about how we need to have a bold faith uh, for dealing with the coronavirus as Christians. Uh, so you'll check it out in the notes below, or you can go to jimmystable.com, episode 50, or just go to jimmystable.com slash listen. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like. Uh, do all that fun stuff. You know what to do, right? Set the notifications. Turn them on high. Share this video with others. Take care.